What's going on everybody, it's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today I'm going to go over Saturday's Legends now, guys, yes, we are back on the OBS stuff again on the screenshots, I'm out at my friend's house today doing it, he may or may not have overslept, not entirely sure, but I think I'm getting my computer back today, so this is my final day on the Mac slash rig setup, whatever, so hopefully guys, I'm back on, this really sucks, Madden's picking up, the consoles come out in three days, just horrible timing, but you guys see I do have a face cam, and actually the lighting kind of looks decent with all my lights in here with the, with the, with the Mac, so hopefully, you know, we can we could actually get something done out of this. And hopefully, you know, it looks decent enough for you guys and we can get this video done. Now, yes, I cannot be using oh I cannot be on the Xbox screen. I can talk from there, guys. I can see it, but I cannot be on it because of course my Elgato doesn't work on the Mac. It's it's an internal Elgato. It's it's in the store being repaired with it. But guys, I'll be on the auction block here. I'll be going over the stats here. I'll kind of get my thoughts on it regardless of the morning content. But guys, before we get into today's video, if you want a chance to be shouted out in today's Poodle Squad, go down below. Comment down below Poodle Squad, like the video, and turn on the noti bell. Once you do all those things, you are entered for a chance to be shouted out in today's Poodle Squad. Now, of course, as I'm super excited, we have 94 overall legends. Ronnie Lott clearly looks like a goon. You guys are going to need these cards. Ronnie Lott looks great. Like, 94 overall is the meta, right? Because that, that is the overall you're worried about. That's the overall we've been worrying while well, wanting to see in the game. Now, guys, if you guys need coins, pick up Ronnie Lott or McNair. And you guys, you guys know them. You guys know the meta cards. If you need them, go up to my reserve down below. Uh, I will have my intro back in this video, of course, and then back home. So make sure you guys head on down below to this link in the description. Halloween discounts are still going on. I think they even were reduced more, especially the training and the coins. So make sure you check that out. You can buy these cards directly on there as well. So of course, take advantage of that. But that's better for that. Let's get into the stats of these legends, and I will read off the regular legend stats as well. But let's start with these, the 94 LTDs. Now, of course, guys, if you do plan on opening L uh, Legend Packs, do not open them up. Yes, I know we had a series update. They probably will be better than usual. But like I said, you're better off picking up coins and opening up packs. The packs are just so... They're terrible. Like, you get good stuff out of them occasionally, but the amount it takes to spend on them and just, you know, 120k, like, the packs are just ridiculously overpriced. Do not waste your coins. You're better off just buying the cards directly. You know how cheap these legends usually get. But... Let's get into a 94 overall running lot free safety. Remember, you can play free safety, you can go to strong safety, you can play them in the box. There's so many more uses for this card than just free safety. But 91 speed. The speed's modest, right? Um, 92 excel, 90 tackle, 91 play rec, 90 pursuit, 86 man, 92 zone, 93 hit power. So as per usual with safeties this year, he seems like a prototype of all the other ones. They always get the zone, they always get the hit power, they always have the 90 speed, and then it's a matter of if their man gets to there or not. Now, he will get every single threshold with Lockdown and Powered Up. Now, Powered Up gets to a 92 speed, which does make him effectively faster than, I believe, Taylor Mays, and I believe um, Jamal Adams, and a few others. So, he also is very tall. So, you're going to have Ronnie Lott's height. You're going to have better hit power, 94 hit power, which, again, doesn't really matter too much this year. His zone maxed out Powered Up and Camden will get to a 98. So, that's one away from 99. I don't know how much that's going to affect how he plays, but it definitely something to take note of. His man will get to about a 92, so again, going to be a super great man safety. He can probably play cornerback, to be quite honest with you. Maybe not as a press guy, but he can probably play cornerback. Um, you definitely want to check out his run support as well, which is honestly it's behind, the, it's, you know, it's behind the card stats. But as far as block shit and everything goes, that could be super, super useful. Overall, Ronnie Lott, going to be the best free safety probably in the game. And he's a 94 overall, so power up gets to a 95 over. No, you cannot power him up. Sorry about that. You cannot power him up yet. Of course, there will be a time when you can power him up. Uh, when he does get a further card and the thing. So let me, let me, let me, let me apologize for that. He can't be powered up. He's the, this is the LTD. The routine is just so thrown off, guys, considering I'm used to seeing the base legend first, then this legend. But regardless, 91 speed, sorry. And he will also have the zone and man thresholds. He's going to get every threshold regardless. So this is really just nitpicking anyways. Ryan Lawson really not the card you need to be powered up anyways. He's going to be 90 everything. He's going to be 91 speed. Again, I don't think he's that far away in comparison to some other cards. But again, he's going to be pretty good in the run, uh, the run game. So that's going to help him, you know, a boost on there as well. Now, as far as prices, guys, I am seeing Ronnie Lott posted for 960 right now. So 960 is not bad, but you know it's going to go way down. Ronnie Lott's probably going to end up sitting around 500 to 600k. Because remember, he's 94 overalls. People are going to go crazier because it is an overall in the game that we have not seen yet. You know, 94 getting increased there. So people are going to be going crazy over that in terms of like they need to have it on the team regardless. You know, God squads, all the competitive players who have to have the best teams to compete. And so on and so forth. So do expect that his price will continue to rise. And now let's go check out Steve McNair, which is on the next page right here. Now, Steve McNair, um, 94 overall quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. Now, he has 85 speed, 93 throw power, 92 throw short, 91 throw medium, uh, 98 throw deep accuracy, 91 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, 91 play action up. Steve McNair is actually really good, and here's why. He does get the field general archetype, which is something we had an issue with the Culpepper. If you look at it, he's going to be able to get... Hot Rod Master, 
and all those good abilities you get when it comes to field general so you're gonna be able to get the field general um, abilities and be able to have an 85 speed and his throw power can i believe get up to like a 96 98 ish depending on how much you have it maxed out now with him guys would you go go deep would you go um play fake honestly you probably want to go play fake for your team in general because a lot of wide receivers get the deep uh, deep route running they just don't get the medium but for McNair, it doesn't matter. You can go whatever you want. Like I said, we don't really don't know how much effectiveness really changes when you go between 90 to 100. Let's just say, like, is a 92 deep throw or 90 deep accuracy any different than a 94? You know what I mean? Like, does it have to be 99? Like, the, the way thresholds work really throws off, especially in ultimate team, how things are affected. So, for Steve McNair, as long as he's above 90s, guys, he's going to be the quarterback you need. Uh, I think Steve McNair might be the best quarterback in the game. Because, like I said, Cole Pepper was essentially the same exact thing. But I believe Culpepper did get um, strong arm, and strong arm does hurt him because strong arm means all his abilities change. When it comes to quarterbacks, you want those field general abilities. Now again, you know they did they did nerf the quarterback draw and all other stuff, so that could that's gonna hurt Vicky even more. I think McNair is probably the quarterback you want at this point. He's super super good. He might not be the flashiest name, you know, not like the Michael Vicks, Lamar Jacksons of Madden. Of course, he was a good. He was an amazing real life quarterback. But like I said, he may not be the flashiest name that you think when you play Mutt, but Steve McNair is probably the best Madden quarterback right now. Now, Steve McNair is going for about 703k, as I can see over here. Now, of course, like I said, these are going to fluctuate. I think they're going to come down fast and then back up a lot because as they're going to come down as people pull them, but people are going to keep buying them out because, of course, they are the best cards in the game. 650k for McNair now. It's going to keep rising down fast, fast, fast up until, like I said. It's going to bottom out, and then once it does bottom out, it's going to be over, and it's going to come flying back up with all the competitive people and people with God Squads buy them out for Weekend League. And we currently are in Weekend League, so you do know people are going to be going in for those cards. Um, overall, if I had to rank them, I think... Ooh, this is tough. Um, um, probably going to go Ronnie Lott first as the best one because, again, he is a safety, so you can play him at free. You can play him at strong. You can play him at corner. You can play him at linebacker. You can play him in the box as a nickel guy. But, of course... The thing is, when it comes to Ronnie Lott, I'm not entirely sure if he's better than McNair for right now, but Ronnie Lott is, of course, going to be the better guy when it comes to switching positions. The thing with McNair, if you have McNair, it's quarterback, can only play that one position. If you do end up getting a new one, you have to sell him, right? At least Ronnie Lott, you can really move around for a while until you actually have to get rid of him, if need be. That's the only issue with buying quarterbacks is usually that you go ahead, you pick him up, and if anything else comes out, you got to sell him, you take a loss. With Ronnie Lott, you move him to free, move him to linebacker, play, move him to the second linebacker, move him around until you really can't use him anymore. But either way, again, it's 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 how it works. You buy and you sell. I like it's a big deal. But yeah, not the guys. It's better for the video. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys real quick what the lower ones are looking like in terms of pricing because I'm kind of curious to see because I know there was a market crash for the series uh, three update. So let's see, Steve McNair. You know what's weird? I, it seems like the LTD Legends seems to get up on the block quicker than the regular ones. Okay, so Steve McNair is up there for like 850k right now, which is clearly broken. That's gonna come down, guys. So don't don't even bother with that. Uh, just wait. And if you guys want to know who to buy, do you buy the LTD or do you buy the lower one? I said it comes down to price. If they're like in 100k difference, you probably buy. You, I mean, the tr training so much cheaper now, so it's different. But it's easier to sell them back without having to deal with training. So if they're 100k difference, maybe you buy the just the LTD. Keep it simple. When you're done, you sell them back. If they're like a 300k difference, you get the you get the legend set one, and you make a lot of you save a lot of coins by going ahead and powering them up. Because training is a lot cheaper than it was, and so are power ups, and so is everything else in this game. But guys, that pretty much does wrap up today's legend morning video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you are new to the channel and you like the video, comment down below. Let me know what's up. If you guys want to join the Poodle Squad, comment down below. Poodle Squad, turn that noty bell, boys. Come join the family. If you guys haven't already, comment down below. Also, let me know. What are the moves you guys this weekend in terms of the, are you guys picking up the new consoles? Are you guys playing Madden day one on that? Of course, the new Madden 4 doesn't come out for like a month. But I just want to know what you guys are up to. I know I'll probably be getting mine the 10th of the day it releases. So hopefully all goes right. The computer's back. But yeah, it's better, guys. If you guys need coins to pick up McNair or to pick up a Ronnie Lott, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle 15% off. Take advantage of the Halloween and ex even extra discounts that have just been added. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.